Well, spring is fast turning into summer and that can only mean that baseball season is well underway. So if you're looking for the same Oakley sunglasses as the pros, then you're in the right place. Stick around. Hey everyone, it's Graham, the Oakley expert here at Sport Rex. And today we get to talk about my favorite subject. It's baseball season. That means Oakley baseball sunglasses. So let's talk a little bit about what you want with your Oakley sunglasses and what you're gonna get because all these frames are gonna have some things in common, some things that are different. And of course, these ones are all optimized for baseball, but we want you to know exactly what you should be looking for with your baseball sunglasses. So first of all, lens shape and coverage is gonna be super important with your baseball lenses. You need to keep the sun off your face. You need a nice little wrap. You're gonna definitely want some larger lenses to keep the sun out of your eyes. And then of course, frame material is gonna be important. You need something that's durable. You don't have to worry about that with Oakley. Uh, you get O-Matter with all of their frames, which is gonna be highly durable, very flexible. It's gonna spring back. It's gonna be able to take a hit, which is important. Baseball might not be a contact sport, but that doesn't mean that you don't get banged up out there. And then of course, lens color is gonna be super important. Oakley, of course, has Prism Field, which is their baseball optimized lens but that's not the only prism lens that works out on the baseball field. So we'll talk about that a little bit more. Something else you should keep in mind when it comes to your baseball lenses is that you do not want polarized lenses. So we'll talk about that in a little bit as well. And of course, the last thing that I'll add in here is that you're probably looking for something semi-rimless or rimless. That just means that there isn't a rim here, some frame material down on the bottom of the frame, and that just could potentially get in your way if you're fielding a ground ball, you're looking down, and it just kind of blocks the bottom of your vision. You don't want that, of course, or tracking a pitch if you're at the plate. One more reminder before we get into the frames, let's talk about the See Better Guarantee for a second. That just gives you 45 days to try out your frame, free shipping both ways, and of course, if you want to get right the first time, you can also call up our friendly optician they know a bunch about this stuff too. Okay, now onto the frames. All right, guys, kicking off our list is my first pair of baseball frames ever. When I started playing minor league ball, I may have, I guess I forgot to mention that at the start. I played minor league ball before I came to Sporter X. This was actually my first pair of sunglasses. I got out to Florida for spring training and realized that the sun's a little bit bright and we were out there all day. And so this was the first pair of sunglasses I got. There's a reason that was the case. It's a great baseball frame. It has all the things that we discussed at the start of the video. SFW of 135, which is gonna be a medium fit for men or a large fit for women. And highly RXable, which is really important if you're a prescription wearer. I'm not, but that's a good thing to know. Joe Kelly, our friend, he wears these. There's a reason he chose them. And of course they're available in Prism Field, which is gonna be fantastic. Also comes in a wide range of colors and of course, it's gonna stay right in place. There's a bunch of unobtainium grip on this frame, so it's not going anywhere, no matter what's happening in the game. If you're diving for ball, sliding into second base, whatever it is, it's gonna stay in place right where you need them. All right, before we get into the second frame, I did wanna mention that if you haven't subscribed already and you love our content, you should definitely do that. That way all of our videos are right there in your feed. And of course, if you're loving this video right now, please give us a like and or a comment down below because that helps us out a ton. Okay, into our second frame, the Sutro Light Sweep. When I was going through our website, checking out frames to feature in this list, the Sutro Light Sweep stuck out to me right away. It reminds me of two things. One, the Sutro, which it's clearly related to, and also classic baseball frames from the 90s that I loved when I was falling in love with baseball as a kid. So we have the Oakley Sutro Light Sweep, SFW of 136, that's a men's medium to large and a women's large fit newest addition to the Sutro family. And you can see where it gets its name. It has this classic sweeping lens here that kind of sweeps and gives you a huge field of vision. You're not gonna have any issue with sun getting under or around the lens if you're tracking a fly ball or a ground ball or looking laterally, and that's really important. Now, I will mention about these lenses. These are the road lenses. The Sutro Light Sweep doesn't come in prism field, but that's okay. You don't have to have field, like I mentioned at the start. This lens actually has the same rose base as field, which is gonna work really well. It's gonna mute the colors you don't want, make the colors pop that you do want. So that's great for tracking a fly ball or a ground ball, like I mentioned before. Now, the other thing you do need to look out for, which I mentioned at the start, is polarized lenses. These are not polarized, so that's a good thing. You don't want polarized on the baseball field because it can mess with depth perception. And that's obviously important if you're seeing pitches at the plate or trying to feel the ground ball, a fly ball, whatever it is, you don't want that. So a lot of my friends back when I was playing, 
had issues with sunglasses in the field and stopped wearing them altogether because they had worn polarized lenses, had a bad experience and didn't learn from it and didn't realize that there was a difference between those two things. So keep that in mind when you are shopping. If there's a frame that doesn't have field, you're not out of luck. You could still potentially wear that frame. Just make sure you're not getting polarized lenses. And it's always good to look for something similar to Prism Field. We have a video and a blog on those lenses specifically if you want to know more. All right, moving on. Another new frame that you may be noticing on the field with the pros is the Oakley encoder, which I have here in the middle in front of me. SFW of 137, it's gonna be a large for everyone. It's got a rimless design and it's definitely a bold design. When you look at this frame, you kind of might be thinking, I don't know if I can pull that off. And let me just tell you right away, you definitely can. Once you have that baseball hat on and this thing slid underneath it, it's just gonna look super cool. Um, it looks cool without a baseball hat, what am I saying? But it has this very unique rimless design, which you don't see anywhere else here. That means unencumbered vision below, above, wherever. That's great, you want that wide field of vision and you get prism field lenses in this. So that makes your lens option choice really easy. You have the perfect optimized baseball lenses right here. Once again, there's great coverage with this frame. I love the unique design. It definitely looks similar to all these Oakleys, but it has its own thing going on. I think sometimes when we look at lenses and frames, it can all start kind of looking the same. This definitely stands out and has its own thing going on. So definitely check these things out. Moving on to the second to last frame on our list and one of my personal favorites. This is the second pair of Oakleys I ever owned. It's the Radar EV Path has an SFW of 140, which is gonna be an XL fit for everyone. And I like that. The reason I chose this after having the flak is because it fit around my hat a little bit better. I have an SFW about 137 and having something that fits comfortably on your hat is really important. Um, if it doesn't, if it's too tight, it's gonna pinch a little bit. So sometimes to have a little bit bigger frame is a good thing. I've owned two pairs of the Radar EV Path. The first one is a baseball player, which got stepped on in the dugout. So it was useless after that, snapped in half. And then another pair is a cyclist and I left it on top of a car leaving a race and never saw it again. It's somewhere in the mountains. So if you see one of these things around, maybe it's mine. Anyway, this is a baseball classic. Um, you'll see it on the field a ton for great reason. It has everything you'd want in a baseball frame except prism field lenses. Once again, that's not an issue. There are a bunch of great prism options. This is prism road jade. It has a rose tint just like prism field or prism road. So just look for a lens that's gonna work and is not polarized. Once again, remember wide options when it comes to prism lenses for the field. Prism field, just the best one. Another cool thing to keep in mind with this frame, you can actually get prescription lenses embedded in this shield. So if you've ever thought I can't wear a shield frame that's prescription, maybe this is your chance. All right, moving on. And the final frame on our list is gonna be the Oakley Half Jacket 2.0 XL. It's the smallest frame here on our list. It has an SFW of 132, which is gonna be a men's medium or a women's medium to large fit. And surprisingly, when I put this on, it actually fits me pretty well. With a hat, this would not fit me well, so this would not be a good choice for me. You may notice right away with this frame that it's very similar to the flak and that's that's true. It's just smaller than the flak. Flak was a 135. So if the flak is a little bit too big on you, maybe this is the frame for you right here. Has all the things that you want in a baseball frame, unobtainium grip, all matter frame construction, comfortable construction here in the nose. I kind of like this, it's a little bit different here. The pads kind of sit here and float, not adjustable, but it's a good design, keeps it right off your face, which is good. And something that I should mention here about this frame and most of the frames on this list is that the lenses are really easy to swap in and out. If you play in varying light conditions, you have night games and day games, that's really important. You might have multiple lenses. In fact, you might have something that's better for dusk, better for bright sun. So that's something to keep in mind. Once again, small frame, but great able sports frame, especially for the baseball field. And if the flak is a little bit too big, this is probably the perfect frame for you also prescription available. So that's a really good thing to have as well. All right, that's gonna do it for our list. Okay, and that wraps it up. That's all nine innings. Of course, we only had five frames, so I guess that pun doesn't really work here, but that's okay. These are the best five Oakley baseball sunglasses of 2022. Hopefully you loved one of the styles here or multiple. Maybe I made your life hard. Maybe three of these are favorites for you now, but at the least you definitely have the main frame and lens features down and that's really important when you're shopping. So just remember, 
You want something that's gonna have lenses that are gonna be great for baseball, have great coverage, and of course fit comfortably around your hat and ears on the field. A frame with all those features is going to make sure that you are your best when you're playing ball, just like the pros, and that's super important. So good luck on the ball field, good luck shopping Oakley baseball sunglasses, and we will see you later. That's it guys, thank you for watching our video. If you want more content just like this, right over there, right over there for you. And of course, remember our social links down below. We have a bunch of other great content for you there. You should definitely check it out. And remember to like and subscribe to us if you haven't already. Like, what are you doing? All right, see ya.